I'm Sebastian Gomez. I'm in the Avis lab and I'm going to show you a day of my life in the lab. Here at the Avis lab, we do natural products chemistry. We isolate compounds from cultured microorganisms and evaluate them for antimicrobial activity. The antimicrobial compounds we find can ideally be used as novel pesticides with improved environmental outcomes. Today we'll be separating an antimicrobial extract through HPLC. Come on, I'll show you. Here we're just grabbing water for the HPLC. Grabbing our sample. Just gonna start by turning on the instrument. This is an HPLC. And then turning on the software. Okay, nice. So we're just gonna fill up the solvents. Then adjust the solvent settings. and then flush the column. We're gonna start with 95% acetonitrile and 5% water. And we're gonna let that run for five minutes. So after the first flush, uh, we, we then flush it with 95% water and 5% acetonitrile to return it to base conditions. And then we already preset a method that tailors uh, the separation so that we can collect the peaks of interest. So now we're going to proceed to injection. First we got to clean out the needle and make sure there's nothing, no previous contamination with methanol. Then we want to prep the column for injection and re-vortex our sample. Then we want to inject 50 microliters. And now we're going to be looking for peaks that we want to collect. This is the screening chromatogram of our fraction. We're, tr we're going to be looking to collect these big important peaks that have given us, given us like big signals. They could possibly be compounds that are antimicrobial. So as you can see, we're looking to collect this peak over here, which should be coming out in the next 30 seconds. And there it is. Now we're gonna look to collect our two biggest peaks here. They should be coming out soon. And the second peak comes right away, so you gotta collect it. So for most of the day, we're just gonna be collecting these peaks. Hopefully we get enough uh, mass after we dry it down and then we would proceed to identification to see if it's a compound of interest through NMR. So after a full day of HPLC, we have collected our peaks in, uh, in these test tubes. Now we just got to clean up and then we're done for the day. Thanks for joining me today. We'll see you in the next one.